All right, I'm factoring. I need to pull out a common factor if possible. No common factor, no common factor, common factor. They both have a six in it. I can divide each one by six. So six times some number is six x. Six times some number is negative 42. So if I distribute it again, that's six x and that's negative 42. So they're the exact same thing. This is what we've been calling the quick factoring. Since there's a one in front of the x squared, we have a trick. Two numbers that multiply together to be that guy, add together to be here. So what are two numbers that multiply together to be? Negative 18 and add together to be seven. So if you really struggle with it, make a list. One and 18 multiply together to be 18. Two and nine and three and six. And you know one of them has to be negative. So when I, if this was negative, that would be a negative 17. You can switch it, but that would be a positive 17. Negative 7. There it is. x plus 2, x minus 9. And then a difference is subtraction of two squares. I can take square root of each one of those numbers. This is one of those trick ones we've been talking about. It should be fast and easy. What's the square root of this guy? It is 6x. Square root of that guy? 5. So 1's minus, and 1's plus. That's it. When you see a difference of two squares, it should be fast and easy. Fast and easy. Okay, now I'm going to show you a couple more. And then I'm going to show you the solutions. So hit pause and you try it and then I'll show you a solution. So ready, hit pause. When you're done, hit play. Okay, and we're back. And you should be checking them right now. Remember that's a difference of two squares again. That's the quick easy trick. Call out the common factor. Alright, let's try another group here. Just factoring there. Hit pause and try them. And we're back. Check them. Don't forget to bring this in to be able to take the retest. 